This past summer, I spent it in an orphanage in Wayabamba, Peru, high in the Andes Mountains. There, as an intern, I worked with the children. I got them ready for school, helped them in their school classes, and anything else that they needed. After three months of working together, we learned to love each other, and had grown close. The night before I left the orphanage, I was in the kitchen with a few of the older girls, and they were talking and telling me how sad they were it was time for me to leave, and they were worried that they were going to forget me. Not wanting to be a forgotten intern, I asked them what I could do for them to help them remember me. The girls talked amongst themselves for a minute, and then one of them, with her big, dark eyes, looked up at me and said, we want your hair. At this point, my hair was long and down to my waist, and the girls loved to come home from school and play with it. At first, I was taken back a little bit by their request because I loved my hair, but I realized that giving them my hair was just a little thing that I could do for them. So the girls went and gathered the other children and brought them in, and I sat on a chair, and they got around me and took turns braiding my hair and cutting off pieces of it. Bernie Siegel once said, life is an opportunity to contribute love in your own way. During my time I spent in Peru, I learned to love these children, and I also learned many other lessons from them, three of which I'd like to share with you tonight. The first one was to be grateful, the second to smile, and the third to give up myself. The orphanage lacked many modern conveniences that we have here in the United States. One, especially, was the washing machine. Instead of putting our clothes in a washer and pushing start, each Saturday morning we'd wake up at five and put all the children's clothes into baskets and carry them a mile and a half down a dirt road to the river. There we'd spend most of the morning, well, the morning and most of the afternoon scrubbing these clothes in this dirty water. The process was ineffective, the clothes were often dirty, and they were worn through quickly because of all the scrubbing that we had to do. It didn't take more than one trip to the river for me to learn my first lesson, to be grateful for everything that I had at home. Many of these children had come to the orphanage because their parents had died. Most of them were murdered. Other children were found starving in the streets, and some of the children were abused by their parents so badly that the government had brought them to the orphanage so that they could have somewhere where they could be safe. Each story I heard about the children seemed to get worse, and it broke my heart to hear some of these. But I was surprised to find that some of the children with the worst stories who'd come from the worst past were some of the happiest children at the orphanage. And they didn't let their horrible past that they had been through affect them. They still laughed at the other children, they played games with the other children, and they never forgot to smile. And that's when I learned my second lesson. Smile, even when life is hard. During the three months I was there at the orphanage, there were several different groups of Americans that came to help, to do different service projects, to bring the children things, items that they'd need, especially warm clothes and new shoes. I was surprised and even disgusted to find that once those American groups left, the director of the orphanage would gather the children together and take back many of those gifts that were given to them. When the director was asked why he was doing this, he simply replied, these children are orphans and they need to remember they're orphans. When I heard that, I wondered if everything I was doing at the orphanage was in vain. If I was ever gonna make a, a difference in these children's life with leadership like that. But then I realized and learned my third lesson, that these adults, although they could take all these items from these children, they could never take away the love and the service that I personally gave to these children. I learned my third lesson, the best gift to give is the gift of yourself. These lessons to be grateful and to smile and to give of yourself are invaluable to me. Helen Keller once said, the things we love are deeply rooted in us, and these memories are deeply rooted in me. I remember driving or flying home on the airplane and running my hands through my short and very ragged hair, if you can imagine, and wondering to myself if I'd made a difference in any of these children's lives. And I remember the moment in the kitchen with those girls as they asked me their last request and the new braided strands of hair that each of the children at the orphanage now possessed. And as I sat there with gratitude in my heart for the lessons and for the memories I had at the orphanage, and with a smile on my face, 
I remembered the children standing around me with scissors in hand as I gave them the last gift, the best gift I could give them, the gift of myself. <laughs>